Hi, it's Poe from Teletubbies. And today we're gonna take the anagram. An anagram. Beautiful. Oh, let's set the mood now, shall we? I don't know if that is even visible. First of all, thank you so much for every comment from the last video. Just thank you for all the niceness and true support. Everybody who's cheering me on, I hope that I can be cheering you on as well and maybe just showing you that I'm freaking trying and it's okay if you're in a place that you're just confused and whatever. I'm kind of accepting that, that it's gonna be for me for a while and some people ask me what my anagram type was. I'm just gonna guess that I'm four. It's my favorite number. Take anagram test. Whoa, millions of people have taken it. I strive for perfection. I work hard to be helpful to others, probably too much for my own good. When I worked at Target, Oh, by the way, guess what I found when I was cleaning out my stuff because I'm packing and everything? My Target days. I am that person who tries extra hard. I would give out coupons more than I should have. Like little discounts here and there. I am like Bob from The Incredibles. Approving all of the old ladies' claims when I technically shouldn't be. Uh, next question. Great things, great things. Now this is subjective. Great things. My belly, I'm hungry. Let's just say medium. Do something with my life, but what is the scale of great? Even the most insignificant act of kindness could be great. Hmm, am I gonna be cocky if I say yes? I make more significant contributions than the average person. Well, I, I try. I try to be conscious and stuff. Ahaha, <laughs> of course I feel my emotions super deeply. Um, sometimes, yeah. Cause you know, the whole everyone must like me thing. If someone doesn't like me, I'm like, you don't understand me. If you understood me, you would love me. I think deeply, too deeply. I'm prepared for any disaster. Well, you know, I thought I was, but then disasters just keep happening to me that I'm not prepared for. So I officially resign from trying to prepare for any. Uh, I don't really avoid it anymore. What is worse is trying to avoid suffering and suffering anyway because you feel like you failed at avoiding it. I seek out experiences that I know will make me feel very happy or excited. Very, very accurate. Um, no, not every situation. I'm not afraid to tell someone when I think they're wrong. Yeah, I let other people make the decisions. No. You know what though? I am a very indecisive person as well. I enjoy weighing in on decisions and discussing with people. I think there's nothing wrong with that. I feel so conflicted because I love breaking rules, but then I also love rules at the same time. I used to be like that. I think I'm more concerned about fulfillment and freedom. I think a lot about what will happen in the future. Let's just say semi-accurate. Kind of think about it like every day as soon as I wake up. I don't fit in with ordinary people. I don't know, I think I kind of do. I like to fit in because I like to be liked. One of those situations where I feel like I'm fitting in, but then I feel lonely on the inside. There is rarely a good reason for changing how things are done. No. I always finish my chores. Oh, I am trying to be a better person. Always trying? Yeah. Errors? Yeah. Too much. I mean, I don't dislike it. I really enjoy volunteering. Does that count? I like to feel that I am an important person in my social groups. Oh yeah, please. I will cry if I feel like my presence means nothing to you. It is important to me. I will cry secretly. See, I would say yes because it's successful in your own goals, right? It's what you define. So I definitely want to be successful in the life that I lead, the goals that I make for myself. The organizations I belong to will not function well without me. Mm, I don't really know. Do I belong to organizations? Let's just do neutral, I can't say. I often feel overtaken by my emotions. I have always felt different from other people. I like to analyze things from every angle. I have a plan for what I would do if things go wrong. <laughs> I avoid situations that bring up negative feelings. No. Yes. I'm good at seeing the bright side of things when others complain, yes. That doesn't mean I'm super positive though. Is that, is that weird? I do not hesitate to call people out when they're behaving badly. 
I go along with what other people want. Some, most of the time, I love pleasing people. But who's making the rules? I seek out relationships that offer me some type of protection. Probably. Friendships count, right? Yeah, I'm too idealist apparently. Average people often find me a bit weird. A bit weird? Yeah, that's accurate. <sighs> I kept going off about how I hate Ben Affleck as Batman. Everyone was staring at me at the table at school. I regret. I like to do things as I've always done them. Probably. You know what? No, because I'm trying to do things differently these days. I persist until a task is done. Oftentimes, I would say yes. I spend time trying to discover and correct my faults and weaknesses. I hold myself to very high standards. I am a natural caretaker. Why is this whole test just agree, agree, agree? Uh, if I honest, I feel I am a bit better than other people. It's putting me on the spot here. <sighs> yes. Does that mean I think people are lesser than me? I don't feel that way. I don't feel I deserve more than others, but I do feel like I do a lot to better myself than other people. But honestly, I'm also, I feel like the worst person sometimes. I have a deep sense of grief for what I have lost. Oh. Let's not even get into that. <sighs> what is an un unusual sort of person? Like, I don't like this. I'll just say it. I'm a typical person who is scared, got hurt, scared of getting hurt again, just wants to love people, just want people to love me. I take time to understand things more deeply than most people do. But what's most people? I feel like it's asking me to make so many assumptions about others. I guess that's the test. Be prepared for any emergency. Yeah, also because my dad really wants me to be prepared. So yes, it's important to me. I distract myself from any sad feelings. I literally do the opposite. I often make changes in my life when things get boring. Oh yeah, tend to be more optimistic than most people. No, I'm always like, disaster. No, I definitely sugarcoat things. I just can't help it. I would rather follow the group than push for what I want. I feel most comfortable in organizations with a clear hierarchy, like corporate. I take measures to protect myself and my loved ones from harm. Y yes. I make plans for many years into the future. Are you asking me to be cocky here? Okay, fine. I just like trying new methods or procedures. I have to say I kind of do, but then many times I feel grateful for being forced to try new things. I'm turning around, okay? Oh yeah, I focus on my responsibilities. I put a lot of pressure on myself to do things right. I read books that help me be more productive, yes. Um, I don't know, I feel like I can barely help myself recently, but yes, that's what I would like to do. I put in the effort to make a good impression on others. I'm like too scared to be ambitious. So let's just say neutral. I'm an important member of my social groups. Let me just say kind of, I think so, I hope so. Detail. I can write a novel, guys, about my feelings. I often feel like an outsider. <laughs> interesting or interesting? No, not interesting. Chaotic, yes. Yes, I'm always aware of what can go wrong. It's so bad. No, why does it always seem like I can never avoid getting down? I'm always up for a new adventure most of the time. I believe, unless it's like cold and wet and raining. I'm sorry, I'm from California. Let's just stay home. No, I do believe that you can make the best out of things that work out. Neutral. I stand up for what I believe in. I'm trying. I just like people who disrupt things. Well, no. I like disruptors. I feel like artists many times are disruptors. I make alliances with people who help me stay safe and secure. I've never had to do that. Let's just say neutral. Yeah. I have different interests than most people. No, I feel like my hobbies, I connect with you. Many of my viewers are all artists and we can really bond over that. So the traditional way of doing things is the best way. Hell no. I am responsible and reliable. I would think so. I'm trying to be the opposite of my bio dad. I have a lot of plans for how I can improve myself. <laughs> I enjoy caring for others. Didn't we already go through this? Um, you know, I never really thought about that, but if I were to have a child, I would really like them to be like, mom, I look up to you. Oh, last page. I make important contributions to my community. I, I really try. I rarely have strong emotions. 
I rarely not have strong emotions. I feel like I never truly belong in social groups. No, that's not true. There are generally people that make me feel belonging. That's when you know you just have something really special. Thank you so much to all my friends that love me. I want to learn as much as I can about how the world works. I just feel like the more I learn about how the world works, the more depressed I'll be. Take it a day at a time kind of thing. It's important for me to understand what can go wrong in a situation, probably. I take steps to ensure I don't feel sad or lonely. Do I? Yeah. I think I've picked up a lot of self-soothing techniques and whatnot. And trying new things keeps life interesting. Hells to the yes. I am an upbeat person most of the time. I feel like I've just really been snuffing out my own flame. I'm just dampening myself out all the time. When I'm with the people that just make me feel truly loved and accepted and I have fun with them, I'm honestly like a loud, obnoxious person. I'm not even really sure. Who, who are you really? When I have meetups with viewers, they also tell me that, yeah, you talk a lot more than I thought you would. Oftentimes, yeah. It depends, I'm kind of lazy. Oh, I can take a stand or I can just go to bed. I feel like neutral is, let's just say inaccurate. Let's be a little honest here. Uh, I have strong opinions though. Is this too like mushy? It's like, I think everyone has a duty to do their best for themselves. I, I think I'm too concerned. I have a good sense of what my future holds. You know, I don't want to know. I think that's for the best. I hate fruit. Everyone gives me shit about that. But you know, I love movies. I rarely hate movies. I'm not like a super picky or criticizing person. I rarely ever was like, oh, that's so stupid. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I don't like that. Actually being hard to impress just kind of dulls out your own life. Preventing yourself from feeling happy and like enjoying things. Yeah, most of the time, like eight out of 10 times, it doesn't. I have a great deal of willpower. Most, on my best days, yes, I do. Self-improvement is a major interest of mine. Yes, can I get a degree in self-improvement? What is my anagram? Here we are. Wait, what does this mean? Ah, 98% matches too. What does this mean when you match highly with like multiple? The key to success is not in trying to overcome all your flaws, but rather in making the most of what you have going for you. Don't waste your time and attention and energy into plucking everything that's wrong out of your life as if you will live a pain-free, sadness-free, fear-free life after, because that's impossible. How do I unlock my report? Huh? I have to pay monies? Maybe. Maybe. But I'm really hungry and I'll rather spend $19 on a lunch. Thank you for hanging out with me while I figure out my type. Have a great rest of your week ahead. Um, I'm gonna be back chit-chatting about how I set up my notion next. I hope that you are taking care of yourself, resting well. Goodbye. Oh, my hair was messy the whole time.